Habitat conservation means protecting the places where things on Earth live. A habitat is a place where a certain animal, plant or other living thing lives. These places are important to keep healthy and fix when they are hurt. Without habitats, many plants and animals would die. By conserving habitats, we give plant and animal species a chance to live healthy lives. The loss of habitats can affect animals, plants and the environment. Thanks for joining Dynamic Earth Learning today. Our content covers interesting earth science, conservation and sustainability topics. Visit our website www.dynamicearthlearning.com for teacher resources, videos and e-learning courses. Now, let's learn more about this. Why should we conserve habitats? Habitat conservation is important for the survival of animals and plants. Number 1. To promote biodiversity. Habitat loss can have a harmful effect on biodiversity. A damaged or unhealthy habitat limits the number of species that can live there. Species are different types of animals. Endangered species are in the most danger from habitat loss. These animals can become extinct. When these animals are gone, that can cause problems for the whole ecosystem. An ecosystem is the whole community of plants and animals that live in a place. Habitat conservation is very important for both animals and plants. It helps make sure that they are protected for future generations. Through habitat conservation, plants and animal species are in all the places they belong around the world. This is best for the environment. Number 2. For ecosystem stability. The plants and animals in an ecosystem all work together. Animals need plants for food and oxygen. Then animals help plants grow by moving seeds around. For example, some seeds stick to an animal's fur. Next, those seeds are carried someplace new. Finally, a plant will grow in the new place. Also, some animals help in pollination. Pollination is how some plants reproduce. Basicalum, an animal, rubs on some plants, then it goes and rubs on other plants. Basically, this helps the plants get what they need from each other to grow more plants. The loss of habitat harms ecosystems and hurts the environment. A good habitat should have enough water, food and space for all plants and animals that live there. Conservation agencies are groups from the government that try to help. Overall, loss of different species of animals and plants can live well together in a habitat. Number 3. To protect wildlife. The destruction of habitats puts wildlife at risk. A large percentage of the Earth's animals are in danger due to habitat loss. Some examples are logging, burning and building cities. Hundreds of species have gone extinct because their habitats were destroyed. The extinction crisis is mostly because of human activities and natural processes. Both of these cause harm to habitats. Habitat conservation is important for keeping wildlife. It protects ecological processes, which are what animals need to live. Basically, it gives animals the things they need to live. Wildlife sanctuaries are one way we can protect habitats. This will increase the wildlife population, then the amount of extinction will go down. Number 4. For the protection of planet Earth. Habitat loss hurts the Earth's environment. When habitats are destroyed, it can cause climate change. Climate change can cause a sudden increase in temperature. It also increases drought and causes storms. Habitat conservation helps protect life on Earth. When we protect habitats, the Earth won't lose its beauty or animals and plants. Number 5. To create habitat conservation jobs. Habitat conservation jobs create jobs. Wildlife sanctuaries make jobs for rangers to protect animals. In some countries, habitat conservation helped the tourism industry. This has created thousands of job opportunities for tour guides. Conservation agencies also employ zoologists and other scientists. How to conserve wildlife habitats? One of the best ways to protect wildlife is by protecting the habitat they live in. Here are some ideas. Protect endangered species. Keep habitats clean and safe to safeguard the future of all animal species. Endangered animals are at a greater risk of going extinct. If they die off, the rest of the habitat could have problems. For example, if all predators go extinct, the prey animals will overheat all the plants. Then the plants will die off. Restore damaged habitats. A damaged habitat is not able to help animals live. Then animals will go to new places they don't belong. Basically, they're searching for a new home and food. Wildlife habitat restoration is all about protection strategies. It also means fixing the soil and the water. Through habitat conservation, plants and animals will live better. Go for a plant-based diet. Many habitats are damaged each year to make room for cattle ranching. Eating less meat will mean we need fewer cattle. This means that there will be fewer ranches and more animal habitats. Livestock farming also makes greenhouse gases. A plant-based diet can reduce pollination, thus conserving wildlife habitats. Remove invasive species. Invasive species are a threat to animal habitats and biodiversity. They drive native animals to extinction. Invasive species can affect both plants and animals. These species need to be stopped so they don't keep spreading. Basically, the invasive species will eat up all the food for the natural species. 
Use eco-friendly products. Some products contain toxic chemicals that hurt habitats. These substances can cause damage to the ozone layer. Then the earth will get hotter. Too much UV radiation from the sun harms plants and animals. Chemical fertilizers also pollute the soil and the water. What is a habitat conservation plan? A habitat conservation plan is a long-term plan that aims to protect endangered species. Conservation plans can protect a species' habitat. Habitat conservation plans are made by the Endangered Species Act ESA. Conservation agreements are made between federal agencies and landowners. People working in a habitat of an endangered species must follow the laws of the Habitat Conservation Plan. Example of a Habitat Conservation Plan, the San Bruno Mountain Habitat Conservation Plan. This conservation plan was designed to protect the butterfly species in California's Bay Area. It allows for the study of the butterflies' habitat without hurting the environment. Earth's future depends on habitat conservation. Everyone can become a habitat conservationist. By protecting wildlife habitats, we can prevent the extinction of species. Habitat conservation leads to a better ecosystem. This will allow animals to live comfortably in their environment. Thanks for joining us today. Consider following Dynamic Earth Learning for more science, conservation, and sustainability topics. And visit our website www.dynamicearthlearning.com for teacher resources, videos, and environmental e-learning courses.